This is Behind the Kit. All right, it's great to be back with everyone tonight. This is Doug Miola with Behind the Kit. I hope that everyone is doing great. Joe has another killer show ready to go for us tonight. So tonight on Behind the Kit, I'm going to discuss a topic that we received an inquiry on last week from one of our Around the Kit listeners. This one is from Will in Flemington, New Jersey. Will sent me an email and said, I want to know about cleaning my cymbals. I heard from some other drummers that it is better to not clean them, that I should leave them dirty. Thanks for listening to Around the Kid and for your question, Will. This is a topic that has been a debate with drummers for a long time. I'm sure that we have all heard different theories like, if you really want your cymbals to sound great, bury them in the dirt, let them sit for a period of time, that makes them sound better. Other people have suggested using everything from Brasso, brass cleaner, to lemon juice, to lime juice, to ketchup, to putting the cymbals in a dishwasher. There are tons of theories out there. I did a little poll on clean versus dirty symbols on Facebook this past week, and I received a ton of responses, opinions, and suggestions for proper symbol maintenance. Out of the 118 people that responded, 65 drummers said that they preferred to keep their symbols clean. The other 53 said that they liked to leave them dirty. Some of the comments that I received included, keeping the symbols clean makes them last longer, they sound like they are made to sound when they are clean. I'm, I like the way they look when they are clean and shiny. Clean cymbals sound better. The drummers who preferred not to clean their cymbals had comments like, leave the funk on them, it gives them character. Cymbals sound better as they age and get worn. Dirty cymbals have a better tone and vibe. I did some checking with some of the well-known cymbal manufacturers of the world to get their guidance and general suggestions for proper cymbal maintenance and cleaning. Here's what the cymbal companies suggest. Play your cymbals with clean hands. Dirt and sweat are not good for your cymbals. Wipe your cymbals down frequently with a soft, dry cloth after playing them and remove any dirt, spills, and or fingerprints immediately using warm water and soap. If you use a cleaner, use a mild, non-abrasive cleaner. Do not use mechanical buffing tools as they generate heat that could also remove metal as you are removing dirt from your cymbal. Some cymbals are treated with a protective coating similar to clear coats on vehicles. These are designed to resist dirt, fingerprints, sweat, and stick marks and also prevent oxidation and cymbal discoloration. Using certain cleaners on cymbals with specialized coatings can actually ruin the finish of the cymbals permanently. Many cymbal companies make cymbal cleaners and polishes specifically for their cymbals. Of course, there are cymbals out there that have a naturally raw or special finish that exclude them from the normal cymbal care and maintenance process. Because we often beat the crap out of them, we may sometimes forget that most cymbals out there are actually finely crafted instruments. Whether you choose to leave them dirty or clean them due to your own personal preferences, they always require proper handling, mounting, storage, and protection to prolong their life and usefulness. It's always best to check directly with the symbol manufacturer of the symbols that you have to get proper direction on guidance for cleaning and maintenance. Hopefully this gives you some insight on cleaning your symbols. Once again, thanks to Will for his question and to everyone who has contacted us with questions and inquiries. If you have an inquiry for us at Behind the Kit, please send us an email or a message. We would love to discuss it on the show. You can also reach me on Facebook at Doug Miola's Drum Spot or at my website, DougMiola.com. Thanks again for listening, everyone. Enjoy the rest of tonight's show. Have a great week. Keep on drumming, and I'll see you next week on Behind the Kit.